It's my warm up sounds. Hey guys, it's Bert with HVAC School. And uh, today, I just wanted to show you some, some cool stuff coming down the pipelines, coming your way soon. Viper has put together a new product, Wet Rag Heat Shield. And you guys know these, these people, you know that they, they make some pretty good stuff. And uh, this is brand new. We got the one prototype ourselves. So I'm pretty honored to have that. We're gonna give it a try here. Uh, Kyle, what are we doing today? Brazing. Brazing. The new heat shield. Yeah, and what project are you working on? New coil replacement. New coil. All right, new coil should be a pretty good example of this in you. So let's check it out. So here you go, guys. The heat shield, it's actually flame resistant. You can also get it wet. It has a really important feature, touch and feel. Go ahead, Kyle. It's soft. Wow, how'd that make you feel? Happy, excited. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It's really hard to describe how wonderful that is to touch, but you'll have to see for yourself one day. But moving on to important things about this, uh, let's, let's just show it in action, huh? Let's just do that, so. We're getting ready to braze here. We got some stuff that would probably be good to keep flame off of. And uh, here we go. First things first, we're gonna pull this out and get it wet. Mm -hmm. Boom, let's get it wet. So this is kind of a cool feature. Actually being able to get this pad soaking wet means it can absorb a lot more heat um, when we're protecting stuff, make it that much more even flame resistant. Um, it does say on here that you can use it wet or dry. All right, so check this out. And then actually the pad can actually just fold around here. I can brace it without getting anything on here. I love that it actually hangs down. So I can cover my PVC, whatever's gonna happen underneath. Um, it is wet, so there'll be a little bit of um, heat absorption there. If your TXV bulb is not hanging like this, which is the safest way, um, if it's actually still mounted, go ahead, put something real wet, wet rag on there. Always be safe with your TXV bulb. Boom, let's uh, let's try this braze. Kyle's gonna do the brazing because I don't do real work anymore. That's true. <laughs> Kyle, where's your personal protection equipment? <laughs> Now a question on everybody's mind, when we pull this heat shield back, is it just gonna be black, scarred, marred equipment behind there? Okay, I guess nobody's asking that question. Sweet, I love it. Okay, let's see, let's see what's on fire behind here. Nice, look at that, sweet. Okay, as you can see, we're not the uh, first guys here. This is an evaporator coil replacement, so previous uh, braze got pretty hot, probably because this heat shield did not exist. Cool, all right, let's let's uh, let's give it a try on the line dryer. So let's pull it in snug right there, and then we're trying to fold it over enough that we're not letting any of our flame pass. Of course, giving yourself room to actually braze. If you don't have room, we just position it differently or let it hang. There is the, the gap on the bottom, but this should be enough room that you can give your flame angle um, if you need to actually direct your flame angle to hit the rag instead of the line right underneath. All right, let's see how this looks. Ah, oh, it's amazing. Butimous. I love it. Pass the test. So, I mean, then you had just have this available to to lay underneath places where you're doing joints. Um, if you have wires in the area, something you want to protect your flame. So far, so great. I mean, uh, what do you think? What do you think, Mr. Quoted Repairs? Success to me. All right. It's good enough for all of us. Coming to a city near you. Um, can't wait for this to actually hit the market.
Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out. HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to HVACRschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing. You can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.